Yeah, I can't really walk to save my life. I really can't. I'll know how to do it for like a second. <laughs> and then I'll be like, do it like I'm scooping soup on water. Three, two, one. Hey guys, I haven't held a, ooh. Hey guys, I haven't held a camera in so long. Like, I had a, I had, I had trouble turning it on to record. Like, two months, we'll do that to you. Uh, about two months, yeah. But, that's not the case. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to introduce my new series on my channel. Um, if you've been keeping up with me, you do know that I have been preparing for graduation and that's why I've been so MIA. And um, yeah, so this series is basically just a week by week vlog of how I'm preparing for graduation, tips, tricks, and the planning. And I'm excited because I get to take you guys on this journey with me till the day of graduation, which is really exciting to me. Um, I just wanted to document this and um, just have it like recorded and Maybe show my kids and they can show their grandkids and you know, they can show their grandkids, kids, kids, you know. So um, yeah, I'm excited. I did buy my bundles and um, just getting through these last few weeks of school because honestly, senioritis is so real y'all. Like you think it's fake, you do, you do until it hits you. Like when I say zero, zero motivation none like I'm like do I really have to graduate or do I really have to pass these classes you do but it's just hard um so pray for me because I need to graduate and um if I don't pass these classes I will not be graduating this series will be useless but um for the most part I am excited to be back I'm excited to share this journey with you guys and I hope you guys are excited too um yeah so um leave comments suggestions or whatever else in the box below i will be uploading more videos regularly onto my channel and um yeah i'm just excited for the next few weeks welcome to crystal's road to graduation it's a situation it's a situation y'all just learned what that meant to like it's lit situation combine the two lituation oh well but yeah, so I'm excited. I'll see you guys shortly in my next few clips. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe, share the video, um, share it with someone you know that's graduating, share it with someone you know that wants to graduate, share it with someone that you know likes watching videos like these. And um, y'all, yeah. so literally every single day I have two choices these boots or those boots. Like, I have senioritis to the fullest. Um, these are my senioritis outfits. I will wear my either rain boots, rain booty boots, or I'll wear my black boots. Um, you know, like literally if I wear these shoes again, I will hide them from myself. Like what am I doing? Y'all, like I'm, I, I'm pretty sure everyone's judging me. Like this girl only got two shoes and we need to donate to her. Like, I feel like that's what everyone's mindset is. Like, this is my senioritis outfit. Normally, when I'm not going to work, I wear like a, a plain top and then a big cardigan or whatever it is, but I don't do too much. I don't even put on makeup, y'all. I just run or I'll put on like a little bit of foundation, but like, don't do my eyebrows. I don't care, I don't care, so yeah. I guess that's my issue. I don't care enough to go to campus looking like I came ready for something. I came ready for my books. That's what I came ready for. I came ready for this diploma, for this degree. That's what I came ready for. I didn't come ready for to be hollered at. Don't holler at me. Nope, you're a freshman. Don't do that. You're three, I'm 50. People are staring at me and this is really awkward. But anyways, I think the best part about being a student assistant, like if you ever can guys, like try to get a job as a student assistant on campus. like. It's awesome guys, like my department, they take care of us, like they feed us, they, they do all this awesome stuff for us and like I think today they take us out to eat and I'm here for it y'all, like I am a thousand percent here for it. work and all I want are tacos. 
tacos. Um, so I'm about to go have some tacos for dinner. And then I have a study group um, after, for my exam tomorrow. Um, not really prepared, college struggle. Um, I've been really distracted with like a bunch of stuff, post-grad and present tense at school, so. I don't know, I'll study and try to understand what I can, but hopefully it just turns out right. By God's grace, it'll turn out right. But yeah, look at how pretty the clouds are, guys. Like, okay, God, I see you showing off, just showing out your little creations. Like, it's just so beautiful. Like, So the plan is to go home, get in my car, go buy some tacos, eat the tacos, rest a little bit, and then go to study group. So earlier when I went to go see the career counselor, she was very realistic. <coughs> she was very realistic, but she was also very discouraging. Um, I don't know, it's basically telling me like, oh, you know, it's not gonna be possible, it's not gonna be possible, it's, gonna be, it's not gonna be possible. And um, it was just discouraging, I mean, you know, because it's almost like, she gave me a lot of things that I would need to think about. And it's like, no one, no one just tells you all this stuff about like different fields and what you would need to have and how you would have to get in. And it's just a lot of stuff. And um, that bothers me kind of, but I'm really trying to like stay level-headed and stay faith-based because I truly do know that, you know, God will put me where I need to be and that wherever I will be will glorify him ultimately and that's just gonna be my purpose in that area you know versus me trying to fit my foot in the door somewhere where I'm not meant to be um, I think that I'm just learning a lot about letting go um, in this season in particular letting go of um, what I think is right or what I want for my life or what I have planned for my life um, yeah God is really just really showing me y'all um, that the plans that I've made aren't solidified by my own wants or my own efforts but by his by his power by his grace by his doing ultimately I ordered two beef tacos with cheese it comes with cilantro um, onions and lettuce they're so good y'all and they have this green sauce they have this green sauce y'all that's so bomb like it's like spicy but like, i don't even know what to call it but i just always ask for the green sauce like hey can i have some green sauce and they know what i talk they know what i'm talking about so they always just give it to me that's basically dinner and then the grind continues is around 8 o'clock a.m. and I am heading to Houston I need to um, I have to do a lot in Houston today um, I'm getting my hair trimmed and in preparation for the hair I'm going to be using for my actual actual photo shoot um, ah! Ah! wow y'all it's too early to be screaming but um, yeah, I'm going to Houston and I have to try on an outfit for my graduation pictures. Um, and then I have to like buy just um, props and stuff for the photo shoot. And y'all know I love photo shoots. Like if you, um, if you've watched my birthday, um, <coughs> what's it called? If you've watched my birthday vlog, you'll know like I love photo shoots, y'all. Like I, truly believe in celebrating every like milestone or every achievement in your life and <laughs> four years is not like yeah in Houston I'm getting my hair um trimmed by my friend Ruth we've been planning um to have lunch and meet up and hang out but like our schedules are like this like they're, yeah they're gang signs <laughs> they, don't, they don't they don't really meet at one point they don't you know they just don't and because of that i was like you know what let me book with her link her shop in the description bar so you guys can check her out like she's awesome if you're in the houston area go to ruth like 
she does a good job. Whatever you would want, she slays your weaves, she slays your braids, she slays everything, guys. So go to her. She even does makeup, like jack of all jack of all trades, jack of all trades. This is basically like the the prep, like this is a grad prep, and um, I'm excited. I really am. Like I love pre pre preparations, and I love planning, and I love um, just just the, the the excitement in all of this i'm going to first of all get some tacos well a burrito a breakfast burrito and then i'm going to head i'm gonna get some gas get some gas y'all i am so excited because i get to go thrifting today like what <laughs> like i'm i'm so excited because i stopped like i haven't thrifted for about a year and i stopped because i became a really bad hoarder like i was just hoarding stuff and like I would never wear it and like it was just really bad so um but today since it's been a year and about a year well probably even more than a year honestly i haven't done it in a long time honestly y'all the thrift store will hook you up when it comes to like seasonal clothing and like just folly looks and huge sweaters and, like you don't have to waste your money at h&m on an oversized sweater where you can just go to the thrift store and get one for the low low for like a dollar okay for like a whole dollar so, that's just me. I'm excited. I'm gonna do a try on haul and then I'm going to also do gift tips and um, cause I've been thrifting for a while. Like I've been thrifting since I was like a freshman in college and that was like four years ago. Like probably even before that. So that's like five years ago. So I do know a lot about thrifting and I do know a lot about like, you know, great deals and what to get, what not to get, how to style, how to think about things when you're getting them, what to do with the clothes when you get them. So I've been eating, I've been eating burritos pretty much every day for about a week and a half. Like it's kind of sad guys but just pray for me dang like dang like you eat a lot of burritos ma'am like can you relax like do you like you know but I, i'm at in my defense i just believe that i'm like mixed with hispanic or something like i'm pretty sure if i took the test like the little ancestry test <laughs> it would come back i mean i may not have the her or whatever <laughs> but i believe that it would come back as half hispanic and Nigerian, Igbo, Igbo Clemen, you know? So that's just me, my taste buds are all for Mexican food, all for, just yum, 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 yum. I'm gonna talk about my Nigerian accent. Like I'm gonna do the whole order. Hello. Good morning. Um, can I get a burrito? You going in already? No. Burrito, what time? A breakfast burrito. The egg, crab egg, bacon. Bacon? Yes, bacon and and um, so no beans, no beans. no beans, bacon, egg, and cheese, potato, potato. Let's put potato in it, okay. and that's all. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, my sister. <laughs> I don't know, it's so awkward to me, like, because <laughs> I feel like I come in here. They know me, like I told y'all, I live here. But so I come, I mean, I mean, maybe they don't know me because my hat's on and I, you know, look a little mysterious. But for the most part, they should know me because I come in here a lot. That is so much fun. I'm gonna do this a lot more often. I should say whenever like she hands it to me, like God bless you, God bless you, or chuku gazogi, like say an Igbo, or you know, I don't know, like what I don't know, chuku gazogi, dalu. What could I say? Dalu? I don't know. Ibu is a madu. You're a good person? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I'm just gonna say bye. Like, just cut to the chase. Yes, ma'am. Pray for you, Wendy. Okay. I failed. I said, yes, I did. It's not Ibo. It's not anything. I mean, that's English, but. I need gas and I'm about to go to H-E-B because my mama always told me that H-E-B has good gas. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I have not looked into it myself, so I'm just gonna go what my mom says. But I know Shell has good gas too, I believe so. And um, yeah. Yeah, I can't really walk to save my life. I really can't, like, like I'll under, I'll not do it for like a second <laughs> and then I'll be like, do it like I'm scooping soup on water. Like, I just don't, I don't even try. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep trying, but 
I know it doesn't look good or it doesn't, you know, appease to the eyes of those who are watching. And I might just do it on graduation day. Who knows? Like, I, I plan to crip walk across the stage. Plan. I'm going to have to YouTube how to crip walk because I don't know how to do that. But hopefully, like, no one comes, you know, I don't know if crip still exists. I don't know if that stuff is still a thing. But I pray it's not because I don't want to get shot on graduation day for throwing up gang signs that I don't know nothing about. Like, I'm just throw up Jesus Christ. Like, JC. And then I'm a crip walk. I mean, that works, right? I don't have to throw up the crip sign, crip sign hands. I can just throw up JC. C. J. JC. <laughs> okay, let's get this guess. Look at, look at, look at Ruth. <laughs> yeah. I, I booked an appointment. I know you did. I'm not, 11.45, I'm not late. I'm not late. Well, well, I'm like a minute late. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm like two minutes late. Cute, two minutes we'll late. Make it. Stop. You usually have Don't someone here. Vlogging, you, no. <laughs> You're vlogging too. <laughs> Where's the bed there, girl? Right here. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. How do you feel about your birthday? I feel great. I you feel, feel blessed? I feel good. You feel good? I feel like I'm 20. <laughs> I am like 22. You feel like you're, I feel like I'm 20. You feel like you're 20? Yes. <laughs> it's awesome. Happy it's birthday, good. Bobby. It's good to be my age and, and you know, have great children mm -hmm. that makes me happy. I agree. You know? Yes, I have an awesome family. Well, they're gonna they're gonna scrub your feet. Mm. Yes. That's the massage. Oh, just, just my feet. No, they're gonna massage your back too. What's Where is that place? It's in the middle of nowhere. I'm mm. kidding. Um, it's in Sugar Land. It's at like a, it's next to a chiropractor. Mm. Put your seatbelt on. It's next to like a chiropractor. Do you have any wisdom to share turn right at the about your new age? My age? Yeah, any wisdom? Oh, graceful. Yeah. But then, uh, at this age, you have to be at peace with God. Yeah. You have to get closer to God. Start, start to change. Mm hmm
and that you've already done, Lord. And we just ask all this in your name, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Y'all, I love, 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 love books. Like, what the?